Okay, now I've recorded this video just in case you get stuck or can't quite remember how to use to create and you can rewind it as many times as you like as you like if you're getting a bit stuck. So how to use create to create sorry. So first of all make sure you go to this page okay click on to create in here and then it'll be the first box. If you have already created your uh, document you can just go to my work here and it will be in there so either option or you can open it using this way as well okay so once you've clicked on that box you'll get the choice of using my adventure story click on here if you haven't started your story yet at all if you have started and you didn't use um, the my work section go to open file here and you can open your story from here so the next slide contains a video to show how to use to create. It went a little wrong for me at the end, but it shows how to use all of the tools. If you are confident that you know what you are doing, start now. You could use the video later if you can't remember how to do something. If you are unsure about what to do, please watch the video. Here we go. Okay then, let's look again at how to create a story using to create. So as you can see, I already have my title page ready to go. I have, oh sorry, wrong button. I have some pages, so I've got my story ready. I've created my background, I've added a sprite, which is Mr. Red Riding Hood. I have used a link here and here to tell the story and to give choices that the reader can make. I've got a few of these as we go along as you can see. So I've already got this prepared. If you haven't yet got any of this prepared then it might be your first lesson I'll show you how to create your page. So first of all you need to create the background. This is this button here. It's got a picture of a background and a question mark. Click that. Click on the selector tool here gives you the clip art and then you can go down and find and find the one you would like okay if you choose this one here you are able to change the background okay so you can choose the different colors that it's in okay maybe it wasn't this one I think it might be another one cancel I think it was this one actually. Yes, so this one changes what kind of day it is, what time of the day, for example. So choose the one you think will be suitable for your story. When you're ready, click OK. I'm going to leave it there. And then click OK again, and that will put your background in for you. You then need, need to choose a sprite. Now I know that you all haven't done this with Riding Hood, so you have to choose the character best for your story. Go on here, so you click on Add Sprite, you find characters, which are here, and then you can scroll down, I think it's only all on here, there's a ghost, there's a wizard, there's some bears, there's some fairies, all sorts of images. Okay, I need to find the Red Riding Hood which is here. Okay, you can make her do some funny things. You can do animation, click on this X here. You can make your animation do whatever you would like. I just had her walking along. And then you can press OK. You can then get it to repeat a few times. Okay, you can choose different animations here after that. Um, and add sound if you really want to. When you're happy with this animation, just click on here for OK. You can make her big and small, make a giant red riding hood, or an incy wincy teeny one. Okay, so choose a size and then get off of the dot and you can move her along just by clicking the left key on your mouse pad and dragging her along. Okay, now we've got, actually I think she's a little bit small, I'll make her a little bit bigger. 
now we've got a little red line of code we can get the story so you just click on this box here and type away little red <coughs> riding hood um, was ready to enter the woods full stop okay oops sorry full stop now what you can do now to create your links you need to go onto this section here this is like a link so add a button you can choose which button you want it doesn't matter what color what shape it's up to you completely i'm going to choose this one here so what would i like little red words and his choices to be this is where you add your choices so she could stay um, and have a rest just click in here what you'd like to be into the into the red um, box there you then would like for the person reading your story to be able to choose this option so which page would you like her to go to if she stays and has a rest so i have already got lots of pages here so this would be page two so i would like okay then let's look again at how to create a story using to create so as you can see i already have my title page ready to go i have i have some pages so i've got my story ready i've created my background i've added a square which is little red writing page i have used a link here and here to tell the story and to give choices that the reader can make. I've got a few of these as we go along, as you can see. So I've already got this prepared. If you haven't yet got any of this prepared, because it might be your first lesson, I'll show you how to create your page. So first of all, you need to create the background. This is this button here. It's got a picture of a background and a question mark. Click that. Click on the selector tool here, gives you the clip art, and then you can go down and find, and find the one you would like. Okay, if you choose this one here, you're able to change the background. Okay, so you can choose the different colours that it's in. Okay, maybe it wasn't this one, I think it might have been the other one. I think it was this one actually. And then when I'm ready, okay, so what page will she go to if she's going to go into the wood? So click on yes, so going to page this one changes what kind of day it is, what time of the day, for example. Okay. Okay. So choose the one you think will be suitable for your story. When you're ready, click OK. I'm going to leave it there. So then click on page 4. That's where I'd like her to go. And then click OK again. So the reader and that will put your background in for you. You then need, need to choose a sprite. Now I know that you all haven't done this with Riding Hood, so you have to choose the character best for your story. Go on here, so you've clicked on Add Sprite, you find characters, which are here, and then you can scroll down, I think it's showing the other one here, there's a ghost, there's a wizard, there's some bears, there's some fairies, all sorts of images, okay? I need to find okay, it on the one of which is here. Okay, you can make her do some funny things. So you can do animation, click on this X here. You can make your animation do whatever you would like. I just had her walking along. And then you can press OK. You can then get it to repeat a few times. Okay, you can choose different animations here after that. Um, and add sound if you really want to. When you're happy with this animation, just click on here for OK. You can make her big and small, make a giant red riding hood, or a mincy mincy teeny one. Okay, so choose a size and then get off of the dot and you can move her along just by clicking the left key on your mouse pad and dragging her along. Okay, now we've got, actually I think she's a little bit small, a little bit bigger. Now we've got a little red iron hood, we can write a story. So you just click in this box here and type away, little red <coughs> riding hood, um, 
ready to enter the full stop. Okay, oops. Now, what you can do now to create your links, you need to go onto this section here. This is like a link, so add a button. You can choose which button you want, it doesn't matter what colour, what shape, it's up to you completely. I'm going to choose this one here. So what would I like little red writing for choices to be? This is where you add your choices. So she could stay um, and have her rest. You just click in here what you'd like to be into the, into the red um, box there. You then would like... One thing to add, you just need to click on the green arrow if you wanted to play through your story and check that your choices are actually working. Okay, I'm going to leave you with that. Hopefully that's clear enough for you. Again, if you're not sure, read it again or you can ask uh, questions in the chat if you're getting stuck. Okay, happy learning.